that's not how we do things in this commonwealth or in this country. And that is not freedom. You know, this guy loves to talk a good game about freedom, right? Let me tell you something. It's not freedom to tell women what they're allowed to do with their bodies. That's not freedom. It's not freedom to tell our children what books they're allowed to read. It's not freedom when he gets to decide who you're allowed to marry. I say love is love. It's not freedom to say you can work a 40 hour work week, but you can't be a member of a union. That's not freedom. And it sure as hell isn't freedom to say you can go vote, but he gets to pick the winner. That's not freedom. Critical. You know what we're for? We're for real freedom. And let me tell you what, let me tell you what real freedom is. Real freedom is when you see that young child in North Philly and you see the potential in her, so you invest in her public school. That's real freedom. That's real freedom. Real freedom comes when we invest in that young child's neighborhood to make sure it's safe so she gets to her 18th birthday. That's real freedom. Yeah. I this is a guy, this is a guy who doesn't respect women here in Pennsylvania. In fact, in fact, in fact, if you don't think like Doug Matriot, if you don't look like him, if you don't vote like him, if you don't worship like him, if you don't marry like him, you don't count in his Pennsylvania. You know how I know that? Because I know where he was on January the 6th. Right. He went there that day, understand, understand, he went there that day not to hear a speech or protest. He went there that day to stop your vote from being counted. 